This is Pacific Grove, California. You're watching what I'm doing. I just tried to record an intro for today's video and it didn't work. We got the first three seconds of it. Here's the first three seconds. Wow, that was great. Anyway, I said that I, I feel like I just woke up from a coma. Caitlin said that next time she falls asleep, that's how she's gonna feel. And then I said that I have to go do a thing with Lego on stage at two o'clock. I'm working the booth from some time after that to the end of booth time. And then in between that, we're gonna see what's what at VidCon. Josh and Callie are in the car and they are super excited to be here. Yay. So I found Todd. Oh, we're walking out uh, to get some food. I was just thinking in my head before you even said anything that just looking around, it's so obvious that VidCon is different. It's changed. It changes every year, but like, this is different. Yeah. It's just, it's a very different event from what it originally was. And then Todd pointed out that my favorite food truck, the Burger Monster truck, isn't here this year. Nope. What the F? I mean, unless, I didn't, unless they arrived later, but I haven't seen them. This is, in fact, there's only an example of the truck. This is terrible. I got a burger. I had to go to the Hilton to get it, but I got one. Also, I need to document this bag. Uh, Look at this bag, it's got spikes. Woo, spikes. It's pretty loud in here, but we're doing uh, an activation with Lego. If you remember these guys right here, from what, I guess Rubriculus is right up there, from when I did that thing. Uh, and Andrew Wong is here. Apparently we're gonna make some music inside this booth with Lego instruments. This actually cuts out a surprising amount of the noise. Yeah, we got some cool stuff for you guys. Be fun. I'm excited. Okay. We're about to go in. Yeah. Into the box. Cool. Good to go. So I think they're gonna film us walking in. I'll just like yeah. kick it off, do like the little intro thing, and then throw it to you if that's cool. Yeah, yeah. And then right, here we go. They'll tell us what to do. Yep. This is your world. Alright. Okay. We need to make us your slaves. <laughs> Finished. That was a lot of fun. I like when you all had like the, the white plates and stuff. Yeah. And when you made that little jam, the jam was sweet. Okay, we met uh, some cubers. Wow, that's just really bright. I gotta fix that. Okay, uh, you can do this in 10 or 15 seconds. About that, yeah. Okay, here we go. Yes. Okay. It was nice until I got evacuated. Oh, the fires. Yeah, it was right there. <laughs> I told you, the I thought master. it was a trick. Also, at the very last minute, I thought it was all scrambled. And then it was just one turn, it was done! Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't buy it. I don't know. Why does it do that? Okay, we just finished the last shift of the day at the booth. We made some amount of money today. Not zero dollars, so, you know. Cinema Studios, not the worst. <laughs> Hello and welcome to 7.32 p.m. on Friday, June 22nd. Yep. I have not been to the convention center at all today. I assume VidCon things happened. Nope. It uh, stopped without you. Yeah. They oh. were just like, sorry, Michael's not Michael's here. Michael's not here, so no one can That's fine. I'll be things. back there tomorrow so they can start <laughs> things up again. Right now we're on our way to the grocery store because tonight we're having our Cinema Studios recognition dinner party fun time thing. And for that, we need steak, yeah. we need potatoes, mm -hmm. we need green beans, yeah. we need Caesar salad, yeah. you need ice, ice cream, cream. Uh, popsicles. popsicles, vegan sausages. And we can forget the vegan sausages. How dare. Don't forget about <laughs> the Halicia. I need to finish the superlatives. You need to finish the superlatives? Well, because Kelly Dishman just finished hers this morning. So oh. look, it's not my fault. Okay. But we love Cali, so. The superlatives are where uh, <laughs> Abby put together a form where everybody in the company answered questions about every other person in the company, like, 
Michael Aranda is most likely to da da da. And apparently, I have I have the scoop, the inside scoop. Apparently, someone answered for me that I was the least likely to actually fill out that form. <laughs> but you did it before I did, so <laughs> you were like within the first few people. Yeah, Good job, Michael. Yeah. yeah, I'm growing up. I know. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Know. you. I was hoping to find some tiki torches here. They have the fluid, the fuel. They don't have the actual torches themselves. Just trying to make our outdoor event a little more special, you know? A little flavor, a little fire. Okay, what if we made a game, but instead of making someone run, you make them drink alcohol, but the more drunk they get, the weirder the controls get. <laughs> I feel like that's already a game. It's called real life. Yeah, that's real. <laughs> I guess it is called it's drinking. It's called Friday night. <laughs> Oh, cinema. Oh, cinema. cinema. Oh, cinema. cinema. How Hello. red is your ass? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Their what? ass is Did you say ass or ass? Oh, yes. oh, oh I thought you said ass. Yeah, me too. Yeah. How red is your ass? Yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> I was so confused. And I'm like looking like, I don't know where the gap in the barbed wire fence is. But I guess it's fine, whatever. So I climb the fence, I like navigate one leg over the barbed wire, totally fine. I navigate my other leg over the barbed wire. Totally fine. I did not navigate my shorts over the barbed wire. Not fine. And I was like, all right, cool, ready to go. And I jump. My shorts get caught. Oh, no. Behind my knee is where barbed wire just cuts into my leg. And I do this. And I'm like, oh, my hand is very red and very sticky. So I have to like drive over to her house and then like patch it all up. And then that's also when I signed up for Snapchat. Because <laughs> her sister said, you should get a Snapchat. I'm like, I guess I could. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I uh, spit a green bean out accidentally. So it like went in my mouth and it was just so slick that it went. <laughs> that's all film. Mm -hmm. We have the evidence. <laughs> I play that back. Can you actually like see Slow it? Motion. It's really dark. We're gonna make that a boomerang. <laughs> Taylor, make that a boomerang. Hey guys, come on. Make it I can only do so much. Caitlin, do it upside down. Put it, put it. God, today you're like at an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just cut that part out. <laughs> What's a pirate's favorite letter? R. R. May it be the C. <laughs> Wow. That was a good one. <laughs> I wrote a thing, and I'm going to read the thing. So, yes. In a few months, Cinema Studios will celebrate its sixth birthday. And it is overwhelming to think about the ways in which things have changed in that time. The company has grown from a thing that existed only on paper as a vehicle for simplifying my taxes to a small side project run out of my bedroom, to a large side project run out of a broom closet in the complexly building, to my full-time life's work run out of a basement office in downtown Missoula, Montana. Some of you have been a part of this family for nearly all of its growing pains, and some of you have joined us only very recently, but in all cases, cinema is better because of you, and I personally feel truly lucky to spend my time with each of you. Nancy Bevins is not down here with us. She's back in Missoula, buzzing around town, trying to bring us more work. And I can't thank her enough for plunging headfirst into this company full of weird millennials. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia Hubbard. <laughs> you are a beautiful soul who radiates sunshine into our dimly lit cave of an office. I've been a fan of your work and art for a long time, and I'm so happy that I've gotten the opportunity to work with you. When we hired you, we dumped you into the deep end of the illustration animation pool and tasked you with sitting in front of a computer for 10 hours a day. I know there are so many other things that you would rather be doing, so I can't be more thankful for the effort you've put into that project for the good of the company. Thank you. Josh Tyra. One of the scariest things for me about hiring people is the fear that because the company can't afford huge salaries and wonderful employee benefits, we'll only ever end up hiring people whose work will require a great deal of polishing and retooling afterward. I've told you this before, but hiring you felt like hitting the jackpot. 
Your art, your work ethic, and your ideas could get you a job making five times what we can afford to pay you. And I will never stop feeling lucky to have you on the team. Even outside of work environments, having you around is always a pleasure. Thank you. Charlie Hoffman. Getting to know you over the last couple years has been wonderful. Hiring from the What I'm Doing Right Now community can be a double-edged sword because I have a fear of my employees holding me up on a weird pedestal and being too afraid to stand up for the skill and expertise in their job that they were hired for in the first place. That is not a problem that you have. <laughs> <laughs> I am excited for bo both what you are going to bring to this company, but also for your friendship and the countless hours of video games that are in our future. Thank you. <laughs> Logan George. There are two things that I knew about you back in 2014 when we met for the first time in Tennessee. The first was that you are abnormally intelligent and talented. The second is that there was no way in hell that you were a straight male. <laughs> I'm honored that you were willing to move across the country twice to work with cinema, and I am very proud of the work you've done for every project that you have touched. You are truly a joy to have in the office. I look forward to seeing you every day, and I will never stop working to cultivate an office culture that allows you to feel comfortable, free to express yourself, and loved by your peers. Thank you. We are now entering the One Year Club. These people have given an entire year of their lives to the cause. Callie Dishman. I cannot express how happy I am to not have to deal with sound on a regular basis. Thank you for all the time you put into making cinema sound professional. Speaking from experience, sound can be a thankless job, often left as an afterthought, and I want to make sure that you know your role in what we do is vital, and we'd all be very screwed if we didn't have you. <laughs> in addition to your professional skills, I have really enjoyed getting to know you over time, and I'm excited to spend even more time with you in the future. Abby Ryan, I'm going to say this a million times in the future, but cinema would be truly lost without you. I am really good at generating chaos, throwing wrenches into gears of your best laid plans, and obliterating deadlines. Your presence keeps cinema from going nuclear, but rather keeps the company moving forward as more of a controlled explosion. <laughs> Life would not be the same without your calendar skills, without your puns, and without your friendship. Even though a year is a long time to spend with anyone, I truly hope that this is just the beginning of a lifelong companionship. We are now entering the two-year club. When I was young, my mom would say that two years was how long you should date someone before getting married. So, everyone from here on out has my mother's blessing in marrying me. <laughs> Todd Williams. We have known each other for 10 years which is truly another lifetime ago. In the last two years since you moved to Missoula, we've been through our share of growing pains, but in this moment, I can truthfully say that you have become one of the best friends that I have ever had. Your charisma is one of the secret weapons that cinema has in getting a leg up on the competition. Being the point of contact for outside companies and merchandise customers means that you bear the brunt of stress and frustration whenever someone out in the world has a problem with us, and often that job goes unseen and unthanked. But know that the many sacrifices that you have made for all of us here today are always on my mind, and I will never stop being thankful. I can't imagine cinema without you, and I am ready to spend the rest of our life expectancies together making cool shit. <laughs> Caitlin Salem, we are just a month shy of you making it into the three-year club, but it's been almost six years since we met, <laughs> and I've never known a time since that you've not been entirely supportive of my creative endeavors. You're consistently hardworking, you're talented in almost every skill that humanity has ever invented, and you're one of the kindest, most loving people that any of us will ever meet. I know that you'll have my back come hell or high water, and in times where I feel really down on myself, even in moments where it's hard to see any reason to keep existing at all, knowing that you'll be there is sometimes the thing that makes it easy to get back up again. You've had a bigger hand in helping to shape cinema than maybe even you realize, and I am so thankful that I can look forward to many more years of your creative energy helping to build this company. Thank you. I guess we can clap. <laughs> we are now in the three-year club. Kyla Pine. 
You helped me realize that there were people out there not just wanting to passively consume what I was putting out onto the internet, but wanting to actively engage in helping me create. You were instrumental in organizing the very beginnings of the community that formed around what I do with my life, and it is that community that still serves as the lifeblood of what cinema does today. Without you, I may not have realized that I could leverage the community into building something bigger and more important than myself. On top of it all, you are a joy to be around, your zest for life and Zac Efron's abs <laughs> are infectious, and all of our lives are made better by your presence. Michael Morgan, it is not an exaggeration to say that this company is only here right now because of you. You bring a skill set to the company that is so foreign to the rest of us artsy types, but so vital to keeping the machine running. I know it can be hard to have to work remotely and feel like you're missing out on the fun parts of day-to-day -day cinema operations, but your hard work behind the scenes, done on top of having another full-time job, is what holds the rest of us afloat, and I don't often enough thank you for that. Aside from the business stuff, growing a friendship with you over the last three and a half years has been incredibly rewarding, and one of the strongest drivers I have to make this company successful is making enough money that you can afford to move to Missoula and finally immerse yourself in the company that you've sacrificed so much for and helped build from the ground up. I know that you would walk to the ends of the earth for me, and having that kind of support system means more to me than I can express. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you have given me in your time here. I promise that I will never stop working to make this the best job that I can for you. I care about each of you tremendously. I feel significantly invested in each of your lives, and I will do whatever I can to bring you success, professionally, financially, and personally. Here's to a wild six years of Cinema Studios, and as we look to the future, I could not be happier to be here at this moment with all of you. <laughs> that, was, that, was, uh, that was real good. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>